What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom staircase in your Revit project. So to get started you have to know where you want your staircase. And I have already created this project here, but it's only a one story house. So there's no real need for stairs inside. But what I do want is a staircase that comes from my deck here all the way down to the lake I have below. Now what I could do is just draw a straight stair path but that's not the most likely thing and that's not what I wanted at all. What I'm gonna do is draw my very own stair path. To put in a basic staircase all you'd really need to do is click on one of the levels you want to start on, click architecture and then click stairs here and then you'll see a bunch of different shapes here. You got your straight run here, you got a circle one if you wanted it, another different kind of a circle deal here. You got an L and then there's also a U. None of these really help me. So what I'm gonna do is draw my own. So I'm just gonna quit out of this sketcher mode here and what I'm gonna do first is come down here to my elevations. Now the reason I need to do this is because I want to set a level where I want the stairs to come out at. So to do that, all you do is go to Structure. All the way over here on the right, there's a Level tool. And I'm just going to line it up with these other previous levels I have here. And I'm going to come across something like that. The next step, I'm going to start out on first floor here. Click first floor. And my deck is right up here. Here's the opening in between the railings, as you can see. Now if I want to create a custom stair path, all I do is come to Architecture here, click Stairs, and now I want to make sure my top and base constraints are correct. I want my top level to be first floor, and I want my base level to be all the way down here at level 9, the level we just created. Now we know that the stairs are going to be 45 feet. So then what you're going to want to do, instead of choosing one of these pre-made stairs here, we're going to click this pencil. That's the Create Sketch tool. And once we choose that, it's going to bring us into a different sketching mode. I have three different things here that I'm going to need to work with. And first is the boundary line. So what I need to do with this is take this and draw the edges of my stairs. So I don't know exactly what I want my stairs to look like. I'm going to go into 3D mode here so I can better judge where everything is because I'm not just going to make a straight staircase here. I want a winding one that kind of cuts back and forth here. So I think something like that looks decent. Now I just want to create the edge. I don't want to create a closed loop. So now as you can see I have that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset these with my pick lines tool. I'm gonna to make them six feet. I'm gonna have some wide steps here. And I'm just gonna click each one of these lines again so I know each spot is six feet apart. And yes, there's overlapping lines, so what I'm gonna do is click the corner tool here and just connect them real fast. Okay, now as you can see here, if I go back to first floor, you can see I have my stair path. Notice I do not have the boundary right here. Here's where the risers come in. Now if you don't know what a riser is, that's each individual step. Instead of, the, of a boundary line here on the ends, we want a riser here to represent the first step. And we want the same thing right up here. And now what you have to do is draw each individual step. So yes, this can be a pain, but um, if you have another straight section like this, what I would do is just offset them, you know, and you can choose custom step lengths. So I'll just make mine two, even though it's probably not the most realistic thing. See, I can just do this. I can also copy the steps if I wanted to but I'm happy with this for now. And then we get to right here. Um, I'm just gonna bump this last step up a little bit so it's even there. And I can go back and change that later. But now right here we're gonna click riser again. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of a landing right here. So 
I'm just going to draw like that. And then as you can see in this general area right here is a landing. So then I'll do this again, two feet. And then I can also show you a different type of landing here. If you wanted to make slanted steps, you just have to draw the line slanted. Make sure you click riser because it always changes back to boundary, which kind of gets annoying. But if you click riser and you just make sure you draw, you can change the type of landing you have. So if I wanted something more like that, I can do this. And then I'm just going to continue this all the way up and I will finish it off and I will show you what the next part is when I get to it. I am back and as you can see my staircase looks a lot different than what it did before. That is because I finished this and I realized I was not even close to the right amount of stairs that I needed. So I had to make this staircase that kind of winds and weaves its way down the mountain. If you run into that problem where it doesn't seem like your stairs are meeting up, you might need to add some stairs to make sure that there's enough steps from one level to the next. The final part in putting in stairs is creating the stair path. Now this is basically which way the stairs will go. From what I've kind of experienced here, it doesn't matter which way you put the stair path in. It's luck of the draw if you get it right or not. Don't worry about it. We can flip it. So what you do is click the stair path tool and start at the very edge of your steps and you basically just draw this line all the way up and also from what I know you don't need to get it directly in the middle of your stairs just so it's there. And it's as simple as this. I'm just going to connect it to the piece that I already drew here. Then I'm going to click the check and to make sure the stairs are flipped the right way I'm going to go to 3D here and as I told you of course they're not so what I'm gonna do is click on it and then click this flip button right here and then as you can see my stairs meet up at the top and down here and sometimes you may have to mess with the base offset a little bit I notice that right up here it doesn't exactly meet at the top but I will mess with that later now if you wanted to convert one of these stairs let's say you have this u-shaped stair here and you just want to put it here and you wanted to be able to edit it like you can with this one here all you gotta do is click on that click convert and then it's gonna give you this message click close and just ignore that warning message and then what you can do with this is also click edit sketch and move the stairs around if you wish to and now I'm gonna click the check here you will see when it loads that I have a very large staircase and there you go I now have my whole entire staircase weaving from my house down to the lake one more quick thing if you don't want a railing somewhere all you have to do is click on that one side delete it or you can either click edit path and if you don't want a little section you can delete the section but then when you do that you'll also have to go back and re-add everything after that section because it won't let you have too uh, incomplete sketch so this video helped you out please give me a thumbs up thank you guys for watching I really do appreciate it I hope this video helped if you have any questions leave them in the comments and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time